1. The Astrophotography Ghost in Tokyo In this unsettling story, a couple in Tokyo set out on a date night under the stars, hoping to capture some beautiful astrophotography. The girlfriend teased her boyfriend as he fiddled with the camera, trying to adjust the settings for the perfect shot. Their laughter echoed through the quiet night as they sat up on a secluded rooftop, unaware of the chilling presence nearby. As they snapped photos, something strange began to happen. ペロン。本当にやめてくれよ。ちょっとやめて。本気でやめて。ねえ。ああ。本気でやめて。ねえ。ねえ。本当に。東京で星なんて見えねえよ。本気でやめてね。星を取ってる。いやいや、やめてやめて。本気でやめて。ね。本気で。なんなの、さっきからね。邪魔しないでくんない。お前さ、久しぶりだったの。うん。もう本気で。俺も一人は。ペロ。いや
but the sense of being watched lingered. In the corner of their frame, a shadowy figure emerged at a tall, thin silhouette standing perfectly still. At first, they thought it was just a trick of the light, perhaps a reflection. But as they zoomed in on the camera's screen, the figure became clear a dark, human-like form with no discernible features, standing in the background as though watching them. The figure never moved, yet its presence was undeniable. They hurriedly packed up their gear, glancing nervously over their shoulders, and left the rooftop, the eerie figure still faintly visible on their camera's screen. Later, when they reviewed the footage, the realization hit Amy whatever it was, it had been there all along, silently observing. 2. The Poltergeist Incident in a Woman's Room In this chilling tale, a woman found herself at the center of strange, unexplainable events in her own apartment. It started small lights flickering, objects slightly out of place here but soon escalated into something far more disturbing. Determined to capture proof, she set up a camera to record her room overnight, hoping to catch whatever was causing the disturbances. Around 2 a.m., the same time every night, the air in her apartment grew heavy. The camera picked up faint creaking sounds, as though the walls themselves were groaning under some unseen weight. Then came the whispering low, indistinct voices, too quiet to make out but undeniably present. The woman lay in her bed, wide-eyed, listening. Suddenly, a loud crash echoed through the room. The camera captured a bookshelf shaking violently, books flying off the shelves as though thrown by an invisible hand. The woman sat up in bed, heart pounding, staring at the chaos unfolding before her. The objects continued to fire first the books, then a picture frame, and finally, a lamp toppled over without warning.
terrified but frozen in place, she watched as the strange activity intensified. The camera's footage showed objects moving on their own, seemingly pushed by some unseen force. The sound of footsteps a heavy, deliberate tag filled the room, yet there was no one there. Then, just as suddenly as it began, the room fell silent, as though whatever had been causing the disturbance had left. The woman fled her apartment that night, but the haunting presence lingered. She couldn't shake the feeling that something was still with her, watching from the shadows. The video, later reviewed, left no doubt of what she experienced was real, and the entity was far from benign. 3. The Forest Ghost in Sapam Explore In this spine-chilling continuation from Sapam Explore, the explorer returns to the haunted forest with a friend after a previous encounter left him rattled. The forest, dense and ancient, seemed to breathe with the weight of its dark history. Local legends spoke of ghostly figures appearing at night, and the explorer was determined to get to the bottom of it. As they ventured deeper into the forest, the atmosphere grew heavy, almost oppressive. The trees, towering and gnarled, seemed to close in around them. Suddenly, a chilling gust of wind swept through the forest, and the explorer froze it there, standing between the trees, was the same terrifying figure he had seen before. This time, it was clearer. It stood unnervingly still, its pale, hollow eyes staring right at them. The explorers exchanged panicked glances but decided to press on, hoping to capture more evidence. But as they took a few steps forward, the figure vanished, only to reappear moments later, this time much closer. The air was thick with dread, and a foul smell filled their nostrils as something rotten and decaying. Do you smell that? The explorer whispered, fear creeping into his voice. His friend nodded, eyes wide with terror. They turned to leave, but the ghostly figure reappeared directly in their path, blocking their exit. Its dark, shadowy form seemed to flicker in and out of existence, like something from another realm. Panic set in. The explorers turned and ran, their camera capturing the frantic moments as they fled through the underbrush. Their breathing was heavy, their footsteps erratic, but they didn't dare stop until they were out of the forest. Even then, the feeling of being followed lingered, as though the ghost had attached itself to them. The footage ends with them breathless and terrified, vowing never to return to that cursed forest again. 4. Poking Ritual in the Haunted Woods In this terrifying account, Alam and Kisurio from Beta Lam official venture into a forest said to be haunted by the ghost of a Pokan, a figure from Indonesian folklore known for its siri, shrouded appearance. The forest had long been abandoned by locals due to frequent sightings of the spirit, which was said to appear under certain conditions or particularly during rituals. The night was pitch black as they entered the forest, armed with nothing but their courage and ritual tools. The air was thick with tension as they began the ritual, lighting incense and chanting prayers meant to summon the spirit. For a while, nothing happened, but just as they began to feel more at ease, a gust of wind blew through the clearing, 
and with it came an unmistakable presence. Emerging from behind the trees was the Pokin. Its body, tightly wrapped in burial cloths, stood unnaturally still, its face pale and expressionless. Alam and Kisurio froze, unable to move as the ghost watched them from the shadows. The eerie silence was broken only by the rustling of leaves as the Pokin seemed to inch closer without moving its legs, as if gliding toward them. Then, without warning, the ghost spat a burst of fire in their direction. The flames flickered in the darkness, illuminating the Pokin's ghastly form as it stood there, unmoving but undeniably threatening. Panic overtook them as they stumbled backward, trying to put distance between themselves and the spirit. But the Pokin didn't retreat it it continued to approach, slowly but surely, as though determined to finish what had been started. Breathless and terrified, the men fled through the forest, the camera capturing every harrowing moment as they scrambled to escape the ghost's wrath. The ritual had worked, but at a cost to now, the Pokin knew they had come, and it wasn't about to let them leave so easily. Five. The floating apparition in the haunted woods. This video tells the story of a lone explorer who decided to venture into a forest known for its supernatural occurrences. Armed with only a flashlight and his camera, he wandered deep into the woods, determined to capture something extraordinary. For the first hour, nothing seemed out of the ordinary yet the forest was quiet, the only sound coming from the rustling leaves underfoot. But as he ventured deeper, things began to change. The air grew colder, and a strange, oppressive silence settled over the area. It was as though the forest itself had stopped breathing. The explorer continued forward, his camera rolling, when suddenly, his flashlight flickered, casting strange shadows among the trees. He aimed the camera straight ahead and froze. There, not far from him, was a figuria ghostly apparition, its form faint but unmistakable. It hovered a few feet off the ground, swaying slightly as if caught in a breeze that the explorer couldn't feel. His heart raced, and for a moment, he was too stunned to move. The figure didn't approach it simply floated there, watching him. The explorer slowly backed away, his breath shallow, but as he turned to leave, the figure moved up gliding silently through the air, following him. Panicked, he broke into a run, his camera shaking wildly as he fled deeper into the woods, desperate to escape the ghostly presence. But no matter how fast he ran, the figure was always just behind him, never making a sound, but always there. The video ends with the explorer breathless and terrified, stumbling out of the forest, unsure if he had truly escaped the ghost or if it would continue to follow him long after he left. 6. The ghostly figure in the haunted plantation. In this spine tingling video, a seasoned ghost hunter ventures into an abandoned plantation, said to be haunted by the spirit of a Pokin. The plantation had been left untouched for years, overgrown and forgotten, but the locals whispered of frequent sightings of the ghost, especially at night. Armed with only his flashlight and camera, the ghost hunter cautiously explored the vast, 
eerie fields. The wind howled through the tall grass, making the scene even more unsettling. As he walked deeper into the plantation, a sudden, overwhelming stench filled the air a mix of rotting vegetation and something far more sinister. He paused, shining his flashlight into the distance, when something caught his eye. Standing far off in the shadows was a figure, wrapped tightly in cloth, just as the stories had described it a pokin. The ghost stood eerily still, its pale face barely visible beneath the cloth shroud. The hunter hesitated, unsure if what he was seeing was real. His camera zoomed in, confirming the unmistakable form of the pokin, and a sense of dread washed over him. The ghost didn't move at first, allowing the hunter to get closer. But just as he was within a few feet of the apparition, it suddenly lurched forward, its body moving unnaturally fast despite being bound in cloth. The hunter screamed and stumbled backward, nearly dropping his camera in his haste to get away. The figure loomed closer, and the video captured the ghost's horrifying face just before the hunter turned and ran. Panting and terrified, the ghost hunter managed to escape the plantation, but the memory of the poking haunted him long after he left. The footage remains one of the most terrifying encounters with a ghostly apparition ever caught on camera. Seven. The live streamed Kunti Lanak encounter. This terrifying live stream comes from a man daring enough to explore one of the most infamous haunted buildings in the area. The structure had long been abandoned, but locals warned of a Kunti Lanaka female ghost known for her haunting whales who was said to lurk within its darkened halls. Determined to catch the ghost on camera, the man set out at night to explore the building, streaming his every move live to his audience. As he entered the building, each room he passed through seemed darker and more oppressive than the last. His flashlight flickered, casting long, unsettling shadows on the decaying walls. The man felt a chill run down his spine, but he pressed on, his camera capturing every moment. Suddenly, a high-pitched wail echoed through the empty building, freezing the man in his tracks. A stag farula, he whispered, his voice shaking. He aimed his flashlight toward the source of the sound, and that's when he saw Hira Kunti Lenox standing in the far corner of the room her long black hair hanging over her pale face. The man's camera glitched, the image blurring as though the ghost was affecting the equipment. He frantically adjusted his lens, trying to capture a clearer view, but the Kundi Lanak moved swiftly, disappearing from sight. Heart racing? The man attempted to leave the room, but before he could make his way out, the Kundi Lanak reappeared at this time much closer, standing directly in his path. The stream showed the man's panicked attempts to back away, his voice barely a whisper as he pleaded for the spirit to leave him alone. But the ghost wasn't done. The Kundi Lanak began to move toward him, her figure growing larger as she hovered above the ground. The man fled, the camera shaking violently as he ran down the stairs and out of the building. Breathless and terrified, he ended the live stream once he was safely outside, but the footage left his viewers in shock.
the encounter with the Kundi Lanak was undeniably real, and the video continues to send chills down the spine of anyone brave enough to watch. 8. The Phantom in the Abandoned Plantation in this eerie video from Sapam Explore, the ghost hunter ventures into an old, abandoned plantation that had been untouched for decades. The location was overgrown and forgotten, and the stories surrounding it were just as dark as locals claimed it was haunted by multiple spirits, and anyone who entered was sure to encounter something supernatural. The Hunter undeterred by these warnings, made his way into the plantation at night. The air was thick with humidity, and the only sounds were his footsteps crunching on the overgrown path. At first, everything seemed quiet, but as he moved deeper into the plantation, things took a terrifying turn. Suddenly, he caught sight of something white moving in the distance. He stopped in his tracks, focusing his flashlight on the spot where he'd seen the movement. To his horror, a ghostly figure materialized in a floating just above the ground, its body draped in white cloth. The figure seemed to glow faintly in the dark, its face hidden beneath the fabric, did you see that? The hunter whispered into the camera, his voice shaking. He took a few cautious steps forward, trying to get a closer look. But before he could get too close, the figure vanished, disappearing into the thick foliage. The hunter stood frozen, unsure of what to do next. Then, Without warning, the figure reappeared, this time much closer. The hunter's flashlight flickered, and the camera captured the terrifying moment as the ghostly figure glided toward him. Panicked, the hunter turned and ran, his breath coming in short, frantic gasps. The figure seemed to follow its faint glow visible in the background of the footage as he made his escape. The video ends with the hunter barely making it out of the plantation, shaken and exhausted. The haunting image of the floating figure lingered with him long after, leaving viewers to wonder if the plantation's dark past had indeed left something sinister behind. <laughs> apa tadi tiba-tiba Allah Akbar pocong ada pocong tiba-tiba muncul tiba-tiba pocong muncul di depan kamera teman 9 The poking encounter during the Pesujan ritual This spine-chilling video follows a ghost hunter who set out to explore a location notorious for Pesuja on a dark ritual believed to summon spirits in exchange for wealth. Locals had long avoided the area, claiming that it was home to a poking spirit that guarded the site, making it dangerous for anyone who ventured too close. Undeterred, the hunter made his way to the location determined to uncover the truth. As he entered the site, he felt an immediate sense of dread. The air was thick, and a strange silence hung over the place, broken only by the occasional rustle of leaves. After a few minutes of exploration, the hunter began to notice strange sounds and whispers, soft but unmistakable. He paused, listening intently.
bah. Gua ngeliat pocongnya terbang bah. La ilaha illallah. Ini gua ngerti coy ini kenapa bisa terbang kayak gini ya astagfirullah ladzim. La ilaha illallah. Astagfirullah ladzim. Astagfirullah ladzim ya Allah ya Rabbi. La ilaha illallah. Di ujung sebelah sana kayak eh dia tuh astagfirullah ladzim ya Allah. Turun lagi. Gue samperin ya, gue samperin Gue samperin That's when he saw Ida Pokin Standing motionless just a few feet away Its form barely visible in the dim light The ghost's face was pale Its eyes dark and hollow And it was wrapped tightly in its burial shroud For a moment The hunter couldn't move, his heart pounding in his chest. He tried to balk away slowly, but as soon as he took a step, the poking began to move, gliding toward him with a speed that defied its bound state. Panicked, the hunter stumbled and fell, his camera capturing the figure looming closer. He scrambled to his feet and ran his breath coming in ragged bursts as he fled the sight. But no matter how fast he ran, the poking was always just behind him, never making a sound, but always there. The video ends with the hunter collapsing at the edge of the sight, exhausted and terrified, the haunting image of the poking still burned into his memory then. The Headless Ghost Encounter and Sacral Official In this harrowing video from Sacral Official, the ghost hunter ventures into a location known for sightings of a headless ghost. The site, an old abandoned building, was said to be the place where numerous tragedies occurred, and many believe the spirit of a decapitated figure haunted its grounds. As the hunter walked through the dilapidated halls, he felt a sense of unease. The building was eerily quiet, the only sound being his own footsteps echoing off the cracked walls. He stopped for a moment, listening. That's when he heard Ida a faint, dragging sound, like something heavy being pulled across the floor. His camera focused on the hallway ahead, and suddenly, a figure appeared. It stood in the middle of the corridor, motionless, with no head atop its shoulders. The hunter gasped, his hand shaking as he tried to study the camera. The figure didn't move at first, but just as the hunter stepped closer, It turned into revealing a headless body swaying in the dim light. Before the hunter could react, the figure lunged at him, its movements quick and violent despite having no head to guide it. The camera captured the terrifying moment as the ghostly form rushed toward the hunter, forcing him to flee. Breathless and panicked, the hunter made it out of the building. But the encounter left him shaken, the image of the headless ghost etched into his mind. 11. The Ghost in the Haunted Road This terrifying video takes place on a long-forgotten road, where rumors of ghostly sightings have persisted for years. The Ghost Hunter, eager to document the paranormal, decided to brave the road alone at night. As he walked along the narrow, overgrown path, the eerie quiet was disturbed only by the occasional rustle of the trees in the wind. At first, everything seemed normal, but soon, the hunter noticed something strange a shadow darting across the road, barely visible in the darkness. Startled, 
He pointed his camera toward the trees lining the road, trying to catch a better glimpse of whatever was lurking nearby. The footage showed a faint figure standing just beyond the reach of his flashlight, but it quickly disappeared into the shadows. Unnerved, the hunter continued down the road, his senses heightened. Moments later, he heard a soft, eerie sound like a whisper, carried by the wind. He spun around, but there was no one there. Shaken but determined to continue, he pressed on. Suddenly, the figure reappeared, this time much closer. The camera captured the ghostly apparition standing in the middle of the road, hovering just a few inches above the ground. The hunter froze in place, his breath catching in his throat as he realized what he was seeing. The figure had no discernible face, just a blank, glowing surface that seemed to pulse with a strange energy. Panicked, the hunter turned and ran, the camera bouncing wildly as he sprinted back toward safety. But as he neared the end of the road, the ghost appeared again at this time right beside him. The video shows the hunter's desperate attempt to escape, but no matter how fast he ran, the ghost was always just a step behind. The footage ends with the hunter collapsing near his car, gasping for breath. The haunting figure was nowhere to be seen, but the fear in the hunter's voice as he recounted the experience was palpable. The encounter with the ghostly figure on the haunted road left him shaken. Twelve. And the video remains one of the most disturbing the pieces of the footage ever forest. captured on that forgotten path. This final eerie story comes from Pemberu Hantu Dina Official, where the ghost hunter embarks on a daring investigation into one of the most haunted bamboo forests in the region. The forest, infamous for its supernatural activity, had long been avoided by the locals, who believed it was home to malevolent spirits. The hunter, curious to test his courage, decided to enter the forest at night, equipped only with a camera and a handful of ritual tools. Upon entering the forest, the hunter lit incense as a way to invite the spirits to reveal themselves. At first, everything was still the only sound was the gentle rustling of the bamboo leaves in the wind. But as the incense smoke curled into the air, the atmosphere began to shift. The air grew colder, and an unmistakable sense of being watched settled over the hunter. As he walked deeper into the bamboo grove, the shadows between the trees seemed to move, twisting and shifting unnaturally. His camera caught a glimpse of something flickering just beyond the trees. And then it happened that a ghostly figure materialized right in front of him. It was a Kundi Lanak, her long black hair covering her face, her white gown flowing airily as she hovered just above the ground. A stag farola, the hunter whispered, his voice trembling as he realized what he was seeing. He slowly backed away. But the Kundi Lanak followed, her pale, haunting face now visible through the strands of her hair. The hunter's camera began to glitch, the image distorting as if the spirit's presence was interfering with the technology. Panicking, the hunter turned to run, but as he looked back, he noticed something even more terrifying in his camera, now pointed toward the ground captured a pair of floating feet, barely inches above the earth. The ghost was following him, its feet never touching the ground. The hunter's breath quickened as he ran through the forest, 
his camera capturing every terrifying moment as he tried to escape the ghost's pursuit. The video ends with the hunter stumbling out of the bamboo forest, gasping for breath, as the spirit finally seemed to retreat back into the darkness. His encounter with the ghost of the bamboo forest left him shaken, and the footage remains one of the most chilling videos ever recorded in that haunted place. Hi friends. Now you can join us and enjoy some interesting features. You can get special subscription emblems and also use interesting stickers. Let's join and interact specifically in the comments column. Thank you.